The state opposition leader is locked in a battle with the US government, the IRS, claiming Mike Nahan owes hundreds of thousands of dollars in unpaid taxes. It's refusing to revoke his American citizenship amid new questions about dual nationals in the WA parliament. I still am a US citizen. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's this surprise tax revelation that's put the opposition leader in the spotlight. The issue is that there's a tax dispute between myself and the Internal Revenue Service of the US of assets way back. Liberal leader Mike Nahan wanted to comment on the Corrective Services Minister's dual citizenship today, but ended up revealing the US is refusing to renounce his citizenship because the IRS says he owes a six-figure tax bill. I'm not, I'm not paying the debt. It is a curious, odd thing to have a, uh, a uh, political leader with, with this issue. It's, not, it's very unusual. Also unusual, this revelation from Fran Logan. I use my Australian passport um, in terms of uh, uh, leaving Western Australia and coming back to Western Australia and I used my UK passport to uh, get past the queues and uh, go straight into the EU. The potential problem, the WA Constitution says MPs shouldn't become entitled to the rights or privileges of foreign allegiances. It could theoretically be an issue after 15 federal parliamentarians were forced to go in the citizenship scandal. The fallout from the federal dual citizenship scandal has been long and expensive. By-elections held at the weekend to re-elect some of those forced to resign cost taxpayers around 7.5 million dollars. The McGowan government says it has legal advice that says MPs here are safe, but neither side of politics wants to test that in court just yet. The Labor Party might be uh, less inclined to push it very hard because of uh, potential problems they also have. Ellie Cormack, Nine News.